Hello and welcome to All Expo and it's time to talk about Steve Bruce. The Newcastle United boss has been a man under pressure for a fair few months now, with an underperforming side leading to questions about his abilities as a manager. But despite the horrendous run of form with the Magpies, Steve Bruce is clinging on for dear life. Like a cockroach, Bruce's time as Toon boss just won't die. But how good a manager is he really? He's got a load of fans in the media, but his CV is a sea of average clubs where the best thing he's ever done is win promotion as a manager. So what if we sent him from one black and white team to another? Well, using Football Manager 2021, that's exactly what I'm going to do. From this moment on, Bruce is no longer your castle manager. Instead, he'll be working alongside Cristiano Ronaldo at Juventus. Or Zebra. It's Juventus, just named after a black and white animal because of licensing issues. I've given him a three-year deal, but can Steve Bruce prove in Turin that he truly is a good manager if he's working with a squad that doesn't consist of Jeff Hendrick? Or will the UV hierarchy do what Mike Ashley's too scared to do and Han Bruce is P45? Let's see how he gets on. Right here we are at the start of the simulation the 17th of August 2020 and here is your new Juventus manager Steve Bruce. He's got a three year deal, he's only on just shy of 20 grand a week so he's only earning buttons compared to the likes of Ronaldo and Jabala and whatnot. Now I know a lot of you are going to be saying where's the face packs, where's badges etc. I am going to add them at some point in the near future, I, I just haven't had time. I'm a very busy bee, a lot of things going on here at Alexpo or GRV Media which is the, the whole company but that's fine, that's, that's, got not, that's not your problem. Anyway, back to Steve Bruce. One issue, he thinks he may not have what it takes to turn things around. Steve, where is the confidence? Come on, believe in yourself. Sure, you've you've not really excelled anywhere you've been, but but maybe things can turn around at Juventus. Let's simulate a year into the future. Let's see how year one goes for Steve Bruce as Zebra Manager. Let's just call him Juventus. Let's go. Okay, here we are at the end of the first season of the simulation, the 13th of June 2021. And just like Neil Lennon ended Celtic's dominance in Scotland, Steve Bruce has brought an end to Juventus' dominance in Italy. After nine straight Serie A titles, nine Scudettos, Juventus have dropped down to second in the table. But in defence of Steve Bruce, they were only a point off the winners, Napoli. It was a nil-nil draw on the final day with Inter Milan, which has cost them the title. Had they won that game, they would be the ones lifting the title. But instead, they drew nil-nil. Steve Bruce's side, they do love a draw. Although they did only get eight for Juventus this season. In Newcastle, they love a draw. And that is what has cost them the title. Cristiano Ronaldo is still the best player in the division. But let's check Steve Bruce out. How is he? He's lost his sadness. He no longer thinks he's not the man. I mean... Although the proof is in the pudding now, he's just not feeling anything. He's not positive about anything. He's not negative about anything. There hasn't been any fights with Chiellini. I mean, Chiellini's probably a little bit harder than Matt Ritchie. Throughout the team, the performances, they've been pretty damn good. Christ, this is a massive squad. He's like a kid in a candy shop with all these players to pick from. Maybe that's been the issue. He's just been rotating so damn much. Ronaldo has been the main man, unsurprisingly. But Juventus only come in second. Have they won any trophies at least? They won the Super Cup, beating Napoli in the final. And they lost in the Italian Cup final to Inter Milan. They had a couple of games against Inter Milan where it has been devastation. First they lost the Cup final 3-2. Then days later they were held to a 0-0 draw to cost them the title. A bit of indiscipline there from Alexandro. Got a red card late on. And Steve Bruce's Juventus side have got off to, I'm going to say it, a pretty bad start. The, the start of the season was actually exceptional. Win after win after win after win in league and in the Champions League. The first time he didn't taste victory in the league was a 1-0 defeat to Lazio on the 21st of November. He was unbeaten against Barcelona in the Champions League. He beat them at the New Camp 3-1, a 1-1 draw at home. But it just hasn't translated to trophies. Well, except for the Super Cup, but man, claim it, Steve, claim it. It is, you deserve it. Well done, yeah. But that is one season down of a three-year deal. I'll be honest, I don't see him getting any longer than three years. Surely at some point in time, Juventus is going to realise this isn't the man to take the club forward. But maybe year two will bring more joy. Maybe they can reclaim the title. Let's see what happens. Let's simulate another year into the future. 
Okay, here we are the 12th of June 2022, the end of season two of the simulation and Steve Bruce has only gone and done it. For the first time in his managerial career, he has won a major title. Him and his Juventus side have came top of the pile. They have reclaimed the Scudetto. Is that right? I mean, it's Italian fans, that might sound wrong. I'm pretty sure the title is the Scudetto. Anyway, they came top with 89 points clear of everyone else. And that is why Juventus are Serie A champions. Cristiano Ronaldo now the skipper for Steve Bruce. But he's still only got one more year left on his contract. He's satisfied with life at the moment. I would be if I were you too, Steve. I mean, probably better than what you had at Newcastle. I mean, there you were just getting... Well, I was going to say you were just getting hurled at cabbages, but that hasn't even been allowed to happen because of COVID. But if fans were there, I think your plate would have been very, very full of salad. But has there been any joy in any other competitions? Has this been an exceptional season? Champions League, how did they get on? They made it to the quarterfinals where they were beaten by Bayern Munich. So that's disappointing. There hasn't been any joy in any other cups, no Super Cup joy, no Italian Cup joy. Was there even a Super Cup this season? There wasn't even a Super Cup. I don't quite know how the Super Cup works in Italy, but it doesn't matter. That's not what we're here to focus on. In the league, Juventus have been excellent he also knocked Real Madrid out of the Champions League so that's pretty damn good but a hot end of the season for Steve Bruce is what has won them the title and given Steve Bruce his first ever major honour as a manager as a player he pretty much won it all Premier Leagues, League Cups, FA Cups everything but a European Cup really as a player exceptional as a manager this will be his crowning achievement so far but can he build on it he is now going into his final year as Juventus manager. Will he get a new contract? Will he be sacked? Will he be relieved of his duties? Will he be sent on his merry way back to the championship? Let's find out. Let's simulate another year in the future. Okay, here we are the 18th of June 2023 and Juventus have been unable to defend their crown. They are back down to second in Serie A, but that doesn't matter because Steve Bruce has suddenly got a five-year deal. How on earth has that happened? What are Juventus doing? Why have they given this man another five-year contract. I mean, is money tight at Juventus? Because he's only on £26,000 a week. A five-year deal? Are they absolutely mad? Is he favoured personnel? Of course he's not favoured personnel. They'll be protesting him in the streets of Turin, I'd imagine. Steve Bruce, man. No positives, no negatives. Not even happy about his new contract. A five-year deal? I cannot believe that. I mean, unless they've won the Champions League, which I, I don't think they did, they come second in the league. How have they done? Champions League quarterfinal. And he won an Italian Cup because AC Milan went down to 10 men after 20 minutes. Yeah, he's won a trophy, but for a club like Juventus, I mean, they had the chance. They didn't even have to sack him. They could have just let his contract run down. Oh, Christ's sake, man. I'm going to have to keep this simulation going. Stevie, Stevie. He's had some wonderful results, to be honest. Beating in the Super Cup, so that, that's disappointing. Let's have a look at the league table. Let's see how they close they were to a second title in a row. What am I doing? They only lost two games all season. They were so close to an invincible season, yet they still haven't won the title. 86 points, four shy of Inter Milan. 11 draws is what have cost them. I said at the start, Steve Bruce loves a draw. It's all about that accumulation of points. Sadly for him, they haven't accumulated enough points to win the title. But they've accumulated enough to survive, which which is probably a good thing for Steve Bruce. Oh, I cannot believe they've given a five-year contract. What on earth are you thinking? What kind of money has he been spending? Let's have a look. He spent £107 million. Federico Chiesa, is he not already at Juventus? Oh, right, the hat, it was the loan. He had a two-year loan, then they made the deal permanent. That's fine. Thought that sold and then just re-signed him again. Has there been any rogue, rogue signings over the years? No one's really sticking out. It's a bit bit random. There's no Joe Linton deals, for example, which, which is good. This is all quite ordinary from Steve Bruce, and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. A few trophies, nothing too out of the ordinary. Somehow, he's got a five your deal. I'm going to have a look at some of the players. I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo, how does he feel about Steve Bruce? Favoured per Christ. Favoured personnel, Steve Bruce. I mean, maybe they're just reminiscing about the times of Manchester. Maybe it's their favourite club, the favourite eatery, the favourite coffee shop, the favourite place to go and ride their bike. Who knows? What about Arta? 
How's he feeling every day as he's walking down the street? <laughs> oh, I'll see myself out. Favourite personnel? The only man he likes in the world of football is Steve Bruce. They're all loving Steve Bruce. I just cannot believe it. It's no wonder five more years of Steve Bruce. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to simulate those five years. I'm going to keep an eye on things, see whether the Juventus job becomes available, whether Steve Bruce goes on to pastures new. But the next time you see me will be the end of Steve Bruce at Juventus, man. I mean, you'll not see us. My, my face isn't on camera. The next time you hear me, the journey will be over. But what year will we be in? I mean, this could be going on forever. It could be 2040 and Steve Bruce is still the Juventus manager just banging on his grave saying, let me out. I need to pick a 442 formation. What on earth am I on about? Anyway, let's do that. Let's see how long Steve Bruce lasts as Juventus manager. Okay, here we are, the 20th of June, 2027. And Juventus have finally, finally parted ways with Steve Bruce. That was a year earlier than what his contract should have been. His contract was until the summer of 2028. But a year prior, he's out the door. Let's see what happened to him in a minute. But as you can see from this table here, he didn't even win another title, yet he survived until 2027. Second, second. He even came third. This season, he's came second. What has happened to Steve Bruce? They didn't even have to sack him. He went out on his own back, retired from management in the summer of 2027. Seven years as Juventus manager, and he's been able to walk out on his... I cannot believe it. At the age of 66, didn't even get sacked at Juventus. He ends his time in Turin with only four trophies in seven years. For a club like Juventus, I mean, consider how many trophies Allegri won. But Steve Bruce, three cups, one league title. I mean, we saw his last title uh, trophy win in 2023. That's probably what got him that five-year deal. Ever since then, the last time we looked at this simulation, all he's won is one measly Italian cup. I mean, no joy anywhere else. How did he go out? What was his final game? A 1-1 one, one draw. I mean, what a fitting way to end things. Three draws. A draw against Verona, a draw against Lazio, and a 1-1 one, one draw with Sampdoria. Has there been any cup finals at least? Champions League? They were runners-up in 2024. I mean, that was that's pretty special for Steve Bruce to get to a Champions League final. Unfortunately for them, they were beaten. Runners-up in the... Italian Cup in 2025 and 2027 Italian Super Cup runners up. Steve Bruce, man, what an favourite personnel? He's considered on a par with Cristiano Ronaldo and Matthias De Ligt. That is, ab I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo. He's on a par with Cristiano Ronaldo for his legacy at Juventus and all he's won is a few trophies. I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo, let's have a look at him. He's wanting to be a manager now give him the Juventus job because he'll probably do just as well look at all those goals he scored yet Steve Bruce is considered on a par I kind of this is I am shocked to my call Steve Bruce retiring as Juventus manager so there we are Newcastle fans quit your morning Steve Bruce is clearly a good manager if he can last seven years at Juventus never finished lower than third which, which sounds quite good but when you consider this is Juventus a team who absolutely dominate in Italy it is not very good at all he ended his final season in second place, eight points shy of title winners Inter Milan. But that doesn't matter for Steve Bruce as he rides off into the sunset of retirement at the age of 66 as a Juventus almost legend. I cannot believe it. How, I mean, how the hell has he done it? Oh, in my annoyed state, I am going to leave it there. Let me know what you think about this experiment in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo. And until next time, we will see you around.